Champa put it in. Hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. For being here. Thank you so much for being a part of the Double Blind Medicine Music Series to talk about plants, art, music, things that we love and that help us in life. And um, I'm so excited to see you guys. A lot of love and respect. Uh, how are you feeling today? Feel good. Yeah. Good. I, um, I would love to hear, because you're here together, I would love to hear how you guys met. Yeah, how are you? Oh, yeah. Um, 2013, I was in Atlanta, other side of the country, just doing my own thing at a friend's house on the internet, browsing, looking at music, looking at just things, new things, just trying to find and dig. And um, somebody showed me a video, and it was a video of her singing. And it was, you know, like one of those like defining moments or where you feel something like super strong and you're like, this person's familiar. Uh, the song is resonating. Um, in addition, this person's beautiful. It's like all the thoughts and feelings like start to rush. And then I just like kind of found myself stuck for the next few weeks. And I'm like, who is this person? Where is this person? Find her on the internet, Twitter, wherever I could find her. Um, and started off as pen pals, just like letting her know, like, <laughs> I, I see the music, I hear the music, I love the music, I respect the music, and just checking in periodically as much as I could without overstepping or saying too much or doing too much. It was just like, I'm here, you know, have a good day, love this song, and just kept doing that as, until it turned into uh, needing advice for something one day. Mm. And this was probably, at that point, maybe like months into hitting me up every day <laughs> yeah like being pen pals and then um that advice kind of just turned into being friends and then being just virtual friends and then virtual friends turned into friends over the phone facetime and that turns into best friends and then a year exactly from that february 2013 to february 2014 is when i came to la for the first time in my life and wow. yeah yeah that was interesting when we calculated it i was like what yeah, so the first time, it's like one of the moments where you meet somebody for the first time, but you already know them. So yeah, it's like it's a beautiful feeling. A one minute long hug and you're just like, okay, this is real. This is crazy. Like it's actually happening right now. And not anything like far, like as far as romance or anything, but like I have like a best friend and I get to like put a face to it and experience like a day with this person when I've never had anything like this. So um, yeah, I was just... I was just amazed, honestly. I, I was amazed and I was happy and I was grateful. And it was, to this day, like one of the best moments and one of the best days that I've ever had. So, so sweet. Okay. As they, like, uh, we met at Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Yep, Atlantic. Um, and I thought it was so cute because, like, I have my car and I'm like, okay, I'm the friend with the car. Like, I'll just take you around, like, day in the life type thing. Yeah. And, yeah, it was kind of just, like, very we had to be next to each other on a physical level too but it was not like he said it wasn't romantic it was more just like oh some we're just there's an attachment here that yeah yeah it was like that spent the night together slept in the same bed didn't touch or do nothing like that it was just like it's yeah just enjoying <laughs> enjoying each other's space and and then it was like that for years yeah. best friends yeah that's really special no oh, i'm really glad to hear that story <laughs> oh that's so sweet it's better than i thought I um so you you were doing music at the time though. Yep. We both were obviously. Yeah, we were on our SoundCloud tip. Like we were just kinda mm -hmm. throwing stuff out there and Wait, in two thousand thirteen? Yeah. Yeah, like twelve, thirteen. Okay. I think I had a couple songs on iTunes at that time and then the song that you saw on YouTube was a acoustic version of one of those. Mm -hmm. And then I went through a phase where I'm like, Oh, actually, what do I do next? And then SoundCloud was like the thing to do. So mm. We're just dropping stuff on there. There was like other stuff too, but it was that era. Nice. Mm -hmm. And were you guys collaborating back then? Were we? No, I was always like. The I, first time I came out here. Yeah, I was always like, let's make a song right now. You yeah. know, cause I know that when I, there was definitely like a love there. Um, but I, I was at that point in my life where 
if I liked you, then I wasn't going to be able to create with you too. So mm -hmm. I was kind of avoiding that. And I was like, just set up this a situation to be like, okay, let's make something so that we know that we can work together too. Like, I don't know. It was just like, a, it was a vibe. I was like, yeah, it just felt like y'all need to work. So don't even go there. Yet. It was like, that was the, that was the big voice that was talking to me. It was like, make sure that you guys are doing what you need to do first mm -hmm. before anything. Mm -hmm. So I would always try to challenge it. Like, let's do something right now. And we would, mm -hmm. it was just like little garage band stuff. Love it. Yeah. Love and it. then like, yeah, it was a couple things. And how many, how many songs have you done together now? Um, maybe about at least six or seven. Maybe about seven. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. They're all great. Yeah, I don't want to name them all because some of them aren't out yet. But, yeah, we yeah. have a few that are. Yeah, some, some that songs aren't. that are hers. Um, we have Interlude on my album. We have some songs that like other producers made that are for possibly for other projects. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, at the, at the very least, like half a dozen. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously more. To, to be done over time. Mm -hmm. Like she said, I think that when you are in a relationship and you are creative, people naturally think, oh, okay, well, you make music, she makes music. So y'all just music. make music together yeah. all the time. <laughs> and it's, it's not that, it's, it's definitely like, it's something that you have to like learn and feel out. And it's the same as like being shy, getting dressed or undressed in front of somebody. Totally, it's like yeah. there are moments where mm -hmm. it takes a little bit more than what you thought and, and you just have to talk it out and figure it out. So. It is a it is a shy thing and it is like a it is like a vulnerable thing. So it's almost like when you go to that level with somebody on a romantic level, at least for me and I guess for both of us, it's like now you kind of have to start from scratch as th them, you know, mm -hmm. and um, figure it out. Hmm. What's been the what's your favorite project? Like my favorite project that I've ever made. Yeah. Um, my first one, Galactica, was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it was just, uh, it was a big moment for me to see what I'm capable of and like actually being able to put real feelings and situations into words, but also kind of like it was a little prophetic for me because some things hadn't happened yet or mm -hmm. I had wrote them and then they happened as I was putting it out, but I did, it, was, it was a really magical era for me. Mm, that is special. Mm -hmm. What about you? I would say it's currently a tie between my very first project and my newest project. Mm. Uh, my breakthrough moment, me kind of feeling like I crawled out of a hole and like emerged and was able to like prove myself to myself with my first project. And then where I am now, where it's like everything that I've ever written about or went through, good or bad, like has led me to where I am and like this new part of my life where I'm more open to things that I used to like sing were almost impossible. It's like now I can sing about love in a completely different perspective and I can sing about accountability in a completely different way. So we have the version of me that made a moment out of like these things that I didn't really understand yet. And now you have where we are today, where it's like, I get it now. And it's an everyday practice. So this album is like my everyday practice album. It's like, mm -hmm. I listen to it when I am trying to like reassure myself of like where I am and what I want to do. Have to, yeah. right? I don't know if all artists do that, but mm -hmm. I've always questioned like, do artists listen to their own music? Like yeah. we have to because <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, right? that's, that's like, the number one test for me too. Yeah. If, I, if I can't, and obviously like I'm, not one of those types of people to be like just because I made it is cool and it's the best and it's dope It's like if if it really doesn't Hit me even if I made it then it just gets kind of pushed to the side And I'm, I wait until like that moment pops out again because when it actually occurs. It's like, okay now I'm doing something right. Mm, I love that um, I'm curious because it is my favorite song What inspired mushroom chocolate? Um, what happened I guess <laughs> Honestly, wait, so I wrote that in like 2018 and originally it was as simple as going to Coachella in the Ferrari, mm -hmm. was it? Mm -hmm. And when I had, go so after Coachella I had gone back in the studio and made a, like a chunk of songs mm -hmm. and that happened to be one of them. And it started off just mine, and the beat's name was already Mushroom Chocolate. So it really was as simple as that. Oh, it's like, it okay. just never got changed because 
there was nothing else that it could be as far as we were concerned. And so I made it. Um, it was just a cute little love bop. And we just decided, me and my friend Chuck, we're like, oh, if it was ever going to be a song with you and Bear, then it would definitely be this one. Mm. And I was like, you right. And so I sent it to him. It was really that simple. Yeah. And I love that song. Me too. It just hits. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It just hits. And now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't actually mention anything about like. Well, when you think about being it, high, nothing. Yeah. It's just like such a cute like mm. idea. Like I just love it, and it's it's so popularized now too. I think more people can relate. Like, oh yeah, I've had one of those. You yeah, know? and then and then also the I think the mushroom chocolate name though it it grew on me personally because I was like, oh my gosh, this actually makes a lot of sense on so many levels. Mm. So, I don't know. It's open for interpretation. Yeah, it's one of those, like, double entendre, like, type of things. Triple, where it's like, yeah. yeah. triple entendre, where if it applies, then it applies. Like, over time, you know, you start to think, like, all right, this is, if you have a good experience with mushroom chocolates, then maybe that's your version of, like, what a good day is with the person right. that you love. It's just, like, just like top down. Yeah. Let me look in your eyes. I also have always heard Chuck's beats, like, his sounds as, like, little creatures. Hmm. And so that always resonated with the it mushroom does chocolate. Have that when it first did, 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 did. I'm like, okay, little mushroom chocolate. It's like, I love it. Yeah. I just feel love when I hear that. And when I eat those. Right. Do you guys, so, do you guys microdose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How often? Um, I, I did this week. Right. A few times. Okay. Just yeah. a little happy vibe, real quick. <laughs> but I'm so sensitive. I have to do little by little. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do? Um, um, you do a lot of blends, like a lot of different, like medicinal mushrooms. Like there's a lot of people making. Um, like. I just recently found a family member that I trust that makes a good blend that he's been practicing with. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't totally dived in yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And it's always when I am able to find somebody that I truly trust that's like, okay, here's a little something for the day. And I'm like, okay, let me just test it out. So I found like some good trustworthy family members that I can get it from, but it's rare too, so yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people I think who are really healing parts of themselves right now using, you know, mushrooms on a daily basis with a combination of all these other medicinal mushrooms where, which are just all so good for health, you know, and then we have those bigger doses when we want to just go in and yeah. see ourselves in a whole new way, you know, and then come back around. So um, I'm curious what has been the most powerful experience you've had with plant medicine? Um, I guess I could go. Yeah, I've had a few um, since so since 2015. I've been uh, working with Aya, and every one of them has been transformative for me. Um, I think the one that kind of launched me into who I am now was my very first one. Mm. And then from then on, I was like learning specific things, as you know, how it goes. But um, I can't even pick just one. But I think I will say the very first one, I had this deep curiosity, like as a Scorpio, I have this deep curiosity for death anyways. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like so young at the time. So I didn't even really know how to ask that question in my intentions. Like, what do I need from this medicine right now? That was kind of my full on intention. Mm -hmm. Just give it to me, you know? And sometimes that can be too much though. Yes. So you have to be very careful with what you ask for. But for this one, I just kind of like open cause I, I didn't know what to expect at all. And it really came for, um, instead of explaining death or explaining to me how to be more fearless about it, it just kind of shipped me into that experience. Like I just died but in the most coolest way ever. Like I was, um, I was shipped off into pure bliss is mm -hmm. all I can say. Mm -hmm. And it helped me to understand it better and to not be sad about it and to not be afraid of it because I had a couple of tests while I was out there and it was like, but you know, you got a mom, you got sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And my pure consciousness was like, and love you and i'm still out of here you know and so finding that bliss was like the perfect way to start my medicine journey because i was like oh there's nothing to be scared of um and instead of like explaining it to me in words or whatever it just was like poof, 
there you go, just experience it. Mm. So I think that that kind of pushed me in the right direction for the rest of my life. Mm. And then, you know, whatever I need to work on from that year forward, it got worked on like every year. So yeah. Seems to do that. Yeah. Um, what medicine, what, did, what was your first plant medicine that you tried? First plant medicine ever was mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Before weed. Before, oh, before. No, 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 no. Well, you're right. You're she right. She counts. You know, she weed. does count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so weed was first, and that was um, that was the summer after I graduated high school. It's a little late. It was a little late, right? Yeah. I purposely waited because my mom was a teacher, and she was uh. like. You know, Bianca, like, maybe just wait till after high school. Like, you're, you she listen, gave me the, though. She gave you, me the fact. She's like, listen, your brain's developing. You might want to. She was very rational about it. And I was like, you know what, Ma? On that one, you might be right. And I, I think that I would have tried it earlier if I was in the position to, but it was like, I was not meant to. Like, mm. I would always see people after they just finished doing it at school. Or right, like, it's a it was never it's around a, me. Yeah. Otherwise, I definitely would have been like, oh, let me, let me try that. Yeah. But because I just would always miss it by a second, I was more so the kid that was like, oh, so what you going through right now? Tell me. Seriously. Yeah, like, I, what was, are you I was curious <laughs> about it for sure. You feel the vibe shift, but you don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I, I thought that was pretty intriguing, though. I liked it like that up until like my like I graduated. And then that summer, I was with my friends and I'm like. So I think it's about that time somebody teach me how to do this. And my friends were like, oh, I thought you never asked. And they had like all the tools. I was like, wait a minute. So I was the friend that you was just not trying to do it around? That's crazy. And they're like, we didn't know. So I had a really good first experience, but I took it too far. I passed out. I like I literally fainted, like, cause I was just thought I was a professional. And then I like found some respect for it and like did it my own yes. way from then on. Right. So teach yeah, that was my first first era of that. And you, when did you first smoke weed? I had to be like around 14-ish, mm -hmm. like in that area. And then obviously during that time and where I was growing up, it wasn't very like intentional. It was more like just introduced as, well, we not smoking cigarettes mm -hmm. and <laughs> right. we definitely not supposed to be drinking. So it's like, we were trying to find something to do. We were already outside every day, already in the neighborhood every day. So as young boys, it was just like, what do we do? What do we do? And then you get around older guys, they smoke and you're like, oh, let me, I do that too. Let me, let me get some of that. And I never like had a, my body's always been kind of conditioned to like other substances. Like whenever anything, Whenever I tried anything else, I never had like any, any crazy reactions or overwhelming like feelings. So the first time that I smoked, I just knew I was too high to like, to hide it from my mom. So I just went in the house, she said something to me and I just walked past and <laughs> got in the bed, got under the covers and that was the end of my night. I was That's like, it. <laughs> yeah. I think we all had those moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we was first. Um, we was first. I'm guessing mushrooms had to be. Second, yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah. And it's pretty common. That's how it goes, right? It's a nice, yes, it's a nice <laughs> step forward, you know? Yeah. I've still been figuring out mushrooms for me. Like, I'm I'm still figuring out, like, dosages. Me too. And different types to see, like, how I feel. Yeah, yeah same. Because sometimes I get different reactions. Sometimes I get a little anxious. Other times I feel completely, like, without anxiety at all. So I'm mm -hmm. just trying to figure out, like, what is the thing that, like, make, that makes a difference? Is it how much I take mm -hmm. or is it the type that I take? Or a combination right, of the same. two. I yeah. feel like there's more strains mm -hmm. today. I don't know. When right? we were younger, it was just like, it's just It that. is what it mm -hmm. is. That's why yeah. I'm excited to get into our little microdoses that we just got. Because I'll be able to build off of those. And I think that that's a good place to start. You know? Because mm -hmm. it always changes for me. Mm -hmm. It's always different. We're going to need some more of those. Yeah. He likes them. I, I get so heavy most of the time. So I, I, and I can't really be around humans. Like, I don't really want to look at anyone. It's really just like for me. And like, I learned quickly with mushrooms that it was never about fun. Like it really? can be fun. Oh yeah. But for me, it was like, um, it, I think I, yeah, I couldn't just do it for fun the way that people around me were doing it. And I had like, I found a quick respect for them. I was like, no, nah, let me let me like go and like do it in my own ceremony because it's a little more serious for me when I do it. So you've never done a group ceremony? I have, and it hasn't yeah. been fun for me. You didn't like it? I didn't yeah. really like it, no. There's been some good blissful moments with people, but it's it has to be pure beauty around. Yeah. Like I really have to 
I did have to choose that. my space. I feel yeah. lucky that I did. It was just like turned into like a big cuddle puddle. It was like we are That's becoming mushrooms. Like this, this is what it feels like to be one. Mm -hmm. I like that though. And I had a good one in the snow once. In the snow. In the snow. It was so cool. And like it was still like back when I first started doing anything and that I just, it was just pure love. And there was people around, but I think the way that I did it was cool because I was snacking on them on my own. It, so there was no pressure to be like, what you feeling? What you, you know, what yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah. It was just kind of like, nobody really knew what I was on. I was just kind of like, ee, ee. And then I was just like, oh my God, there's so much love in this room. I can literally see it. And mm -hmm. like the, I would go outside for a different experience and the, the stars were like 3D talking to me. And then I would go back inside and then feel that love and like take pictures with my friends. And that was fun. And everyone was beautiful, mm. like on a spiritual level. So I was like, oh, I can handle this. So you guys don't, uh, like when you go out, say you go into like Hollywood party or something. Oh will my you guys, God. Will you? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> really? Well, oh my really? Gosh. Not even I a couldn't little do bit. it. I, I mean, okay. I, you know what? In, if, in that yeah, moment. I just feel like everybody's into it. In that days. moment, like, I'm, never know. I'm biting a piece of my like weed gummy and I'm uplifted and I'm social and I'm good. Yeah. Mushrooms will make me go all the way inside, and okay. I can see everybody's insides, and I don't really want to go there with yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in <laughs> I don't want to yeah, know. Maybe not the first. I don't want to know. Yeah, any version of smoking or like um, THC edibles is cool, but mushrooms and foreign places and foreign people with me is it's a little bit like I start leaning back, like what's going right. on in here? Why are they talking like that? Yeah. Or, what's or inside I just feel, of them? Yeah, I just I just feel a little <laughs> bit like. It's, it's, I don't know, it's different for me. But I think that's a good part about talking about it. Like everybody's body has a different type of reaction mm -hmm. to it. So it's cool for people to hear about it because then they can either be like, oh, okay, it's different for me or yeah. actually same. So I know I'm not tripping. So yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's impressive when people can handle their business out and about and, and be in that space. I actually think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not for me. Yeah. But I have friends that like, yeah, I've gone places and, and had really serious like moments where my friends are just giggling, laughing. I'm like, damn it. Mm. Like, maybe I ate too much. <laughs> but like, I'm going through a whole lesson. I'm like, okay. And they're like sticking me to the ground. I'm like, all right, all right. What is it going to get like? But it's just me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, uh, okay. How many times have you been to the jungle? Ooh, I've been to the jungle quite a few times in my life. Yeah. Always. Um, Guess where? Bali. Well, I meant for plant medicine. Oh, um, every time. Well, every time I do Aya, that's where I go. Except for yeah. one time where I was really surprised. I was almost like, dang, no jungle time. So you have, you have, um, you have had the ceremony in the U.S. Not. Um, wait. So I've had spiritual experiences going to the jungle, but mm -hmm. physically, I haven't done medicine in the jungle oh, yet. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it always takes me there. Okay, would you like to? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's like what I've been working my way up to. And now I'm kind of like ready yeah. for that. The closest thing to that was not plant medicine, but um, LSD. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Where was that? In the jungle, that was. Yeah, that was. Oh, okay. So we, we did have a together. ceremony. You had your own. Yeah. It was, mm -hmm. my, it was my birthday. Yeah, it was a lot of the same. I mean, anytime that I have done shrooms like enough of them or have done lsd or have done like they're always like a version of like all right we have to get ready we have to know what we're doing today who's going to be around what we're going to yeah, eat it's all it's super like, intentional yeah like you plan it out so that felt probably similar or or a fraction of like what it would have been like to do like i am it really was our own ceremony mm, for sure and we beautiful. had shared experiences too mm -hmm. um did we have that a time. cookout uh, ceremony before that? We did. We and a sweat it. after that. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. a good it was a full on, yeah. It was, it was a whole really day. magical. Mm. We had a sweat uh, after that. And that was like a moment of thinking that, all right, we went through the duration of the whole oh entire God, day. Okay, we had a cacao now. ceremony. We had yeah. the trip. And now it's we're starting just going to come to get down. Yeah, it's like we're, it's coming down sweat. and we're going to go get a sweat. And then immediately, as soon as we got into the sweat, I started to realize that it wasn't gone and that everything it came, started it just came to, back to intensify. as soon as we got there and then like the sweat just turned it up and we we're like in the pitch black but i was seeing so much and i was like yeah I, <laughs> yeah that was that was crazy yeah. i'm glad we did that and then and then after because we we're so like turned on again 
we found our way through the jungle into the beach yeah because we were like actually we don't know where to go yeah we got this. lost trying to leave and we yeah. ended up at the beach we're just like let's just follow the ocean sounds and we got mm -hmm. to the beach and it was all luminescent and we knew that we had these god goggles on and we we're the only ones that could see this right now <laughs> it was so cool yeah. i love those moments mm -hmm. you just get into your own world and you just that's it's memorable and that's it's so cool thing. when the person next to you can see exactly what you're seeing you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. have you tried combo not yet no mm. What do you what are your thoughts about it? I'm open to it. Mm. I don't have too many thoughts because I don't I don't know too much about it. Mm. Um, I just know that I, I've heard that it's more like a, a physical experience. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Very physical. So of course I've been like. Mm. But <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like, like work. Yeah. You know, but honestly, if you sat with ayahuasca, it's like. It, yeah, there's just a physical cleanse that has to happen, you know, but it's yeah. it's I find it personally to be a lot more uncomfortable. Mm. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking time to share from your heart, your experience, your hopes, your dreams, your vulnerabilities, your strengths, your beauty. Thanks for being here with us so that we can keep, you know, helping people educate themselves about music, art, creativity, plant medicine, psychedelics, all the good things in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay.